Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we have a bit of a crazy deck today, but this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be my Maxi's Archie's Attackers deck, and it's a very fun deck to play, um, and I was testing it out in class, and I was like, yo, this is actually a pretty fun deck, and it's pretty decent. Um, it counters the kind of big expanded deck, Zoark variants. And um, I do really like this deck quite a bit. I think it is very fun to play. I kind of got inspired from it by uh, just playing around with Galilee Gyarados. And I might make a video on Galilee Gyarados. Do you guys want to see a Galilee Gyarados video? Because that deck is also very fun to play. These Maxis Archie's decks are just fun to play. So if you guys want to see that, definitely drop a comment and leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more Archie's Maxis decks. But today, we're looking at the one that I've made today. And um, I do like this deck quite a bit. So the idea is, is you use Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick and Archie's Ace in the Hole to get your attackers into play. And there are a few attackers in this deck that you get into play. So we'll look at Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. This allows you to put a fighting Pokemon onto your bench, draw five cards. But you have to have, this is the only card in your hand to play it. Now thankfully, fighting Pokemon are very strong at the moment because of how good Zorak GX is in both Expanded and Standard. So... We're going to get some funny Pokemon in play. Now, you'll see Maxi's Gallade a lot, but we're going to do something different. We're going to get Rampardos into play. Rampardos has the attack clean hit for a single fight energy, does 60 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, does 120, so you're just going to straight up one-shot Zork GX with clean hit. You also have Wild Crash, which isn't bad. Rampardos is just a pretty solid attacker. It is kind of hard to get into play. You have to put a Mysterious Foss on your bench. You'd have to go into Cranny Dose or Rampardos to get it into play. Or you go Mysterious Foss or Rare Candy Rampardos. But thanks to Maxi Sin and Ball Trick, very easy to get into play. It's a 1 energy attacker. 2 shots most evolutions. 1 shot Zoark GX. What more could you ask for? Um, the other uh, fighting type attacker I'm gone with in this deck for Maxis is just Garchomp from Breakpoint. You do have Turbo Assault, which I kind of like to use to charge stuff up. We also have Bite Off. Um, and a free retreater too, so this is why I like having this Garchomp. Galilee wouldn't be bad in here, but it's a 2 energy attacker. We don't play DC in this deck, so we're going to be playing Garchomp instead. Um, and for the Archie's Ace in the hole, we're going to put Empoleon into play. Empoleon has Diving Draw once during turn before you attack. You may discard a card from your hand if you do, do draw 2 cards. Very good ability, obviously it's the same ability as Zork's ability trade, but this is great. Um, also we have attack command. Attack command for a single energy can do quite a bit of damage. It can two shot most things. You know, if you're playing against a Skyfield deck, attack command's damage output is going to be very strong. So Empoleon is a very good attacker in this deck also, and it's going to put in work. Um, and it's a water type, so if you play against a Volcanian deck or something like that, you know, you have that water typing to your advantage. So Empoleon is in here. Um, the other attacker is Lycanroc, but it's not really an attacker so much, more for its ability, Bloodthirsty Eyes. We can also max these a Lycanroc in play, it would be very weird to do that, but you never know. Um, but we can use Bloodthirsty Eyes if we really need to. Um, the thing is, when you're doing maxis and archies, the idea is you want to, you know, do it every single turn and keep getting Pokemon in play. You might want to, you know, you might want to play a Guzma or Lysander that turn, so we have Bloodthirsty Eyes to do that. We also can use Dangerous Rogue. That is also one of the reasons why this is in the deck is for Dangerous Rogue. But if you want to use Claw Slash, you can go for it. It's a little harder to build up because it takes more energy. Um, but Lycanroc is in here. We do play a 1-1 line of Lycanroc. And um, I guess the other attacker is just a Orcorio if we play against Night March. We got our two Lele's. Um, Lele can help us set up um, the plays. Shaman is also very good in here to help us set up. Um, literally because it has the ability set up. But it is also here to help us set up these Maxis plays. I do play one Tier Tuga just because... It's very easy to deck out with this deck. Now, there is a way we can prevent decking out in a minute, which I'll talk about, but Tier 2 will just help us not deck out a little bit, you know, because we will thin quite a bit of cards. We've got to burn so many cards in our hand, and we've got to play so many cards from our deck just to pull off a attacker, and then we draw five cards after that. And to do that every turn, it's going to wear our deck thin, so Tier 2 will just help us not get decked out. We do have a Rangaroon here, though, to also help us not deck out. This is also what we want to start with. We can use Resource Management. Um, to put cards back in our deck so that we can keep up the Maxis Archie's plays, getting back Ultra Balls via Seekers, Computer Search, Battle Compressors are all very good. Now, you don't want to do resource management when you have one of your Pokemon in the discard pile, like Rampardos or Empoleon, and if you have to put them back, because you have to put three cards back in your deck. So you do not want to do resource management if you have Empoleon or Rampardos in your discard, and you have three or less cards in your discard pile. Do not play resource management. You'll be forced to put them back in the deck. It's not worth it. Just don't do it. Just don't attack. 
Um, but we do have a Rangrood. Also, again, can put cards back in our deck because we will run variable mind cards. Um, and yeah, those are all the Pokemon in the deck. We will go into the items now because there's a doozy of them. Four Battle Compressors so we can put stuff in the discard pile. We got one Computer Surge. Computer Surge helps us pull off these Archie's Maxis plays. Four Order Pads, another great card in here. Flip a coin of heads, search deck for an item card. You can grab Ultra Ball, Battle Compressor via Seeker. Very good card um, to help us pull off these tricks. Puzzle of Time is also in here to help us pull some stuff off, get our stuff back from the discard to continuously pull stuff off. Four Trainer's Mail to also help us pull off. Again, like Trainer's Mail, Order Pad, Battle Compressor, Ultra Ball. They're all just here to pull off these combos. Um, but VF Seeker is very important to get our stuff back. We did play one Archies. We got two Maxi Sin and Ball Tricks. Um, these are how we get our Pokemon into play. We got one Cynthia for draw. We got one Guzma. We do play one N and one Sycamore. We don't need to go crazy on the, you know, uh, supporters. Cynthia is really honestly here too. Just if you have a huge hand, you can shuffle it back down. Um, so that's why we do play like Cynthia. But I like having Cynthia and N and Sycamore. Just a one of each. Hex Maniac is also a pretty decent tech if you want to put that in here. Uh, we do play two choice bands to do that extra 30. Sometimes you hit magic numbers with choice band. We got two float stones for free retreat on stuff like our Rangaroo, even our Lycanroc even might need that retreat. And Polion could use it too, because they all have two retreat costs. I am playing one Focus Sash. I want to play more, but we have Puzzle and a Rangaroo, so it's fine. Um, but Focus Sash is great, because if you put it on, you know, something like Rampardos, right? You take out a Zoar, Focus Sash is on, they don't get rid of it, they don't one shot you. You take four prizes with Rampardos. So that's the idea with Focus Sash in here. We got two strong energies, just mainly for Rampardos and um, for Garchomp and Lycanroc. We can't use strong energy on a Rangaroo or Empoleon or Lele or Corio though. But we do have four Blend energies, which we can put on our Empoleon. Um, that's why I do play Empoleon, is because we can use Blend energy with it, because you can also use it as a basic fight energy. And we only play two basic fight energies, so to play some fightings just for a Rangaroo or, you know, whatever. And um, yeah, this is my Archie's Maxi's deck using Rampardos and Polion. It's a very fun deck to play. I was testing this out in class, and uh, it seems to be pretty fun. Um, it is kind of easy to make a misplay with this deck, though, I'm not going to lie. So I might make a few misplays here or there. We'll see if it happens or not. Um, I'll see you guys in a minute with some matches with the deck. Okay, here we go. Let's get a game or two with our deck. I'm excited to play this deck. It is very fun to play against, though, if you get Quaking Punched... Very sad days. You do not want to get quaking punched with this deck. That's one of the only issues with this is the Toad matchup is pretty miserable because of quaking punch. Though you do have Lycanroc and your best bet is to use Bloodthirsty Eyes. Uh, it looks like we're up against the Latios Donk deck, unfortunately. But, it, I mean, if we can get a double starter, okay. Pony hits me with that heart, so I guess he's a fan. We'll hit him with a hello. He is going first. That kind of sucks if he is playing Latios Donk then uh, we're not gonna be able to get another pokemon to play most likely um, so a mulligan hopefully we do not hopefully we're not playing against latios donk okay we're gonna win the ranger 120 hp is decent enough i guess um surprise phase i'm gonna hit him with a surprise phase too all right it is not it looks like it's actually a plasma deck okay i'm, I'm interested Lugia is a bit of an annoying situation, though, because that thing can take two prizes very easily on low HP attackers. We'll see. Um, we'll see, though. We do have a pretty decent starting hand. Actually, no, we don't. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, we start with a Latias. Okay, so I can't damage with abilities. All right, that's fine. Nothing really uses abilities. He's actually going to put down a white Kirima wall card. Okay, I'm, now I'm interested. He's going to laser me. Getting heads. Okay, that kind of sucks. Though, again, we may not even do resource management this turn, depending on how many cards we end up playing. Because um, so I don't want to end up putting back Pokemon I discovered with Battle Compressor. Doesn't look like, unless he ends me, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull off uh, what we're doing. Okay, so we apply my Grunt. I thought I would have had to discard something, but I hope that would have been the case. I got rid of Garchomp. Alright, now this thing is not a Team Plasma Pokemon, unless he's playing... I have a feeling he's playing Ninja Boy. That's not good. So we'll do Battle Compressor. We'll get rid of Empoleon. We'll get rid of Rampardos. Probably just a Maxi's Hidden Ball trick. Um, I may as well attach, just so I don't draw it. We'll end. Alright, next turn, we might have it. If we can get an Ultra Ball, we may get... The uh, we, we we basically we either need Ultra Ball Computer Search to pull off this next turn. He's gonna hit me with a heart. 
I want to have a sad face because I didn't get what I needed. I definitely wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have done a Rangaru anyways, even if I was awake. I only played three cards. And I don't really need any of those back. So, yeah. But if we can draw Ultra Ball, we will definitely be in a good spot. Ultra Ball Computer Search. We can definitely pull off what we're looking for here, though. We probably will have to do a double puzzle. But that's fine. So he's going to play Burbank down. Okay. Chorus Machine. Pardon me. He's going to build up Deoxys, so... I might actually go for Garchomp this match, but we're going to need Battle Compressor. But I'll probably get a back puzzle. Alright, so I'm still going to stay asleep, though I'm probably going to not win next turn if I don't get another Pokemon down. And there is the Ultra Ball draw. Perfect. So, so far it's just Empoleon and Rampardo in the discard. So we are going to Ultra Ball away these two. We are going to grab probably just Rockruff. Maybe I could have attached that to Rockruff. I don't know. It's fine. Um... We can probably double puzzle after I play this trainer's mail. Probably have to put Rampardo. Okay, no. We'll, we'll battle compressor, trainer's mail. We'll put in Garchomp and Empoleon and Rampardos. I could actually go for Empoleon, but because of that, Laddie ass. No thanks. Um... Get nothing. I was actually hoping for order pad, and then I could probably do another battle compressor. We will via seeker for the Maxi's hidden ball trick, and we can put probably Garchomp in play because we're gonna need that for Deoxys. So we'll put Garchomp in play, and let's see what we get. Energy would be great. There it is, and we can do resource management. And I'm gonna put back probably this, this. No, we'll, we'll put back this, this, that. And there we go. You have a good deck. You also... Actually, I'll hit him with a Wu that's close. Now, unfortunately... Oh, no, we actually live. So, this laser is not even going to knock me out. I thought for some reason 80 plus 30 equaled 120. But we're in a pretty decent spot. Garchomp's in play. Yeah, unless he enhanced hammers me, we're going to knock out Deoxys and Latias, most likely. He's going to retreat to Deoxys. Looks like he's going to take me out with Helix Force, which is fine. We can actually start building up Rockruff, too, which is kind of neat. So, this is why I like the Garchomp. So yeah, it looks like Helix Force is going to be my home place. Now, I think even if I don't get the energy off of whatever I do here, I probably will do another Maxis. Okay, would you be a Seeker? I, I think we will go for... Mm. Mm, maybe we grab Shaman. That draw actually wasn't helping. I think I will grab Shaman here. I wouldn't mind Focus Ash, just in case. I don't know, we could see like a Lugia come down, so we'll we'll put down Shaman. Pwn's happy that I played that, that's fine though. Um, okay. If we can get an Ultra Ball off of this, if this hits heads, alright, we're good. Do I want Empoleon or Rampardos? I don't know. Kinda do want to put Empoleon into play. Not gonna lie. Um, I think I'm just gonna grab. Uh, mm, do I wanna grab Lycan Rock now? I might need Bloodthirsty Eyes. How many Ultra Balls do I have left? That was my last one. I'm not kidding. Well, we'll grab a Ranguru then. We'll put another Ranguru into play for now. And honestly, like. I think I am going to put Empoleon into play, I mean... We have Guzma. So, we have a way around Latias. Plus, we can probably knock it out next turn if we can get the Guzma with a Garchomp. Because I don't think Garchomp will get knocked out here. So, yes, we are going to put Empoleon into play. Archie's Maxis for the win. There's Lycanroc. There's another Energy. Um, I could play Diving Draw. Don't think I want to get rid of anything else. So, we are doing a 180. So, we don't need to play that Choice Band. Unfortunately, we did not get any focus sashes i don't think he can knock me out like i'm just gonna risk it and hope it doesn't knock me out because i kind of want to keep everything in my hand right now so we're just gonna bite off knock him out and just like that garchomp takes the knockout we'll take our two prizes there's computer surge there's trainer's mail so we definitely will have another archie maxis next turn i almost said archie but we are going to take out that laddie ass and ooh. He could do Cold Flare. Luckily, he won't knock me out in one hit. 
If you had, if that was a plasma, he would have. But uh, we're gonna take out that laddie ass. And at the same time, we're gonna build up Rockruff and then try and knock out Shaman for game. So we are gonna take out that laddie ass once this, once again. Get rid of that. I'm probably just gonna burn this. I don't really need it. Uh, I'm gonna do trainer's mail. We'll grab battle compressor. Probably just diving draw the battle compressor way. I don't even know if I want to go for the Maxis or Archie's his turn. Well, I mean, I guess. But I kind of want to... Like, I'm going to need a Guzmax turn. Well, I don't know. Actually, I guess we can go for a Maxis. Okay, we can definitely pull it off. I mean, if not, whatever. I did kind of want to keep that hand, though, just in case. Because, again, I do kind of want to get Guzma, but we have a lot of draw engines. I might even just get another Empoleon and play, to be honest with you. So we'll Battle Compressor, we'll get rid of Orcorio, and probably... The other Battle Compressor. We'll do Puzzle. Bit of a waste. Oh, look at that. We're getting double puzzle off of that. So that's great. Do I want to get... I mean, he has no evolution, so we're just going to get Archie's or the other Empoleon. This is a very fun match. See, this deck is fun to play. Like, look at this. When this deck gets going, it can be a joy. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that Focus Ash, and I'm going to try and dig for a Guzma for next turn to win the game. I need an energy, too. So we'll just bite off. I mean, we double, we got double puzzle too, so we're good. So we'll bite off, knock out this laddie ass. Long turn, but we've gotten two Empoleons in play. We're looking very hot right now. So we're golden. And my opponent really, I mean, he can knock me out. Oh, he's actually going to put another Pokemon down. All right, so we do have game next turn then with, with the Dangerous Rogue on Shaman. And there's a cold flare. It does get heads or tails. I don't know why I said tails, so that's fine. We'll bring out a Rangaroo most likely. I could even probably afford just to put some resources back. We only have seven cards, but we do have a game here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it does not matter. And there's the energy we need. Um, yeah, we'll just drop Lele for Guzma. We basically had the game. Like, I think we would have gotten Guzma regardless. We had four cards to draw, a Trainer's Mail, Double Puzzle, like, yeah. So not much my opponent can do. And just like that, we'll wrap up the game. And this is why I like Lycanroc in this deck. Because you can do stuff like that. I think Empoleon might have done enough damage too, but I doubt it. I think it was better just to take him out. And there we go. We showed off the deck beautifully. That was a beautiful showcase. We got Maxis, Archies continuously every single turn. We even showed off why Lycanroc is so good in this deck. Like, that game honestly just couldn't have been any more perfect. Just couldn't have been any more better so we will get another match with our deck see what we are up against probably night march but we shall see oh another another dragon deck it might be garchomp which would be interesting because i don't uh, garchomp and expanded is kind of weird because even double dragon energy doesn't like do much for it because you already use dc to attack so we do win the coin flip which is great we double a rangaroo and it looks like we do have the archie maxis play Yep, we got him. As long as we don't draw anything like that we can't literally play from our hand like a Pokemon, we should have Maxis or Archies. There we go. So, probably want to go for Rampardos so I can do... Yeah, Rampardos or Empoleon, doesn't really matter. Probably just grab Rockruff. We'll Battle Compressor, get rid of... We'll get rid of... Pardos, oh wow, a couple Pokemon are prized. That's actually kind of bad. Sort of bad. And we'll get rid of the other Maxis. We'll order pad. I guess we'll grab float if I hit heads. Maybe Focus Ash, just in case he uh, does get that one shot. Whatever, it's fine. Well, Maxis, oh no, don't want to grab you. We'll grab Rampardos. And we will attach to Rockruff. And we shall pass. There we go. This is great turn one. Perfect turn one, actually. It does suck we have our Empoleon's prize. Empoleon's great in this matchup also. 
it's whatever though. We will knock him out next turn with Rampardo's clean hit. He's gonna play Devoured Field in play, which is fine. And if he doesn't save this Gibble, Rampardo's is just gonna one-shot him. Right, he can do Ascension, but because it's an evolution, we're gonna do extra damage. So there's a Cynthia, and I guess we just gotta pray he doesn't get an evolution here. But even if he does, like, there's no Bridget, so it's not like he's setting up his bench anyways for, like, a Lucario Garchomp play next turn. So if he can just, you know, send you, okay, Lele coming down kind of sucks, but it's not for Bridget, and he can seize the game. Rampardo's put on too much for, look at the max these Rampardo's, dude, like, it's, when you're playing against these evolution decks, it is not very, very fun to look at for your opponent, like, my opponent is just, like, nope, so fast out of that. We're actually gonna get two Rangers off of this, wow, interesting. So we'll find another match, obviously, that was a quick game, but I'm having a lot of fun with this deck right now. It looks like, ooh, if we're up against Darkrai, this should be a very easy game. Choice Band, Clean Hit, beautiful. And Garchomp, so we'll go Tails. No, Totodile. All right, that's fine. Maybe we can pull off a Knockout Turn 1 on him if we get the Maxis off. Looks like he's playing Darkrai Giratina, though, which is interesting. So we will get a Rangaroo. I think our hand is good enough to pull off the knockout here. We are going to lose Lycanroc, though, but we do have Puzzle. He's going to Mulligan, and I'm actually going to draw the extra card, I think. Because if we don't get heads on Order Pad, we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to really do much with his hand, so I think we have to draw whatever we can. I wouldn't mind Rock Ruff if I put Strong Energy on it. So I do have Lycanroc in my hand, right? Um, so that's fine by me. But we'll just wait for my opponent. It looks like he's playing like a dark deck. I don't know what he's playing. Like AZ. Could be Darkrai. We'll find out, of course. We shall find out. So we'll draw the extra card. Ugh. Ugh. Just no. No. Just not very good. Not a very good hand. I end me. Okay, Fighting Fury Bolt actually kind of is annoying because that does take away Rampardos' one shot unless I put a strong energy on. Double Dragon is scary because we do play a lot of special energy. It's kind of where I want to get Rock Ruff in place so I can just get the turn to Lycanroc and Rock and knock out this Giratina. A little bit like a dangerous rogue out of nowhere. Yes, he's ending me. All right, beautiful, beautiful net. Beautiful. We're getting a nice new hand. Hopefully, we can do something with this hand. Let's see. Alright, that's a lot better than the last hand, for sure, so I will take that. Shaman definitely could help. But the Fighting Fury Belt is going to be very annoying. Giratina's Chaos Wheel is also very annoying, so we got to be careful. And just a pass. Alright, what did I draw? Ultra Ball again, that could be good. We'll get rid of Maxis and Rampardos. I think I would have had Rampardos there, but it's fine. We'll, we'll play Shaman anyways, because I want to try and get more stuff going. Uh, well, my Ultra Ball again, which I think I'll do. Probably just grab another Orangaroo, because why not? Play Shaman down, set up for six, and pray that we get the max. We got it. We got him. We're gonna have a bit of a full bench though, so we'll just play the- I mean, I should have saved that, whatever, who cares. That's two puzzles though down the drain. Um, so we'll drop Lele. If it lets me- actually, maybe I should have just attached to Rangaroo, but again, if we get Dangerous Rogue off next turn, knock out this Giratina, I will be a happy camper. Maxis, Rampardos. Rampardos, I mean, to be honest, I kind of like Garchomp in this matchup a little bit more, because Bite Off can take out Giratina too, but Rampardos will do just fine for now. I think we'll save that for next turn, and we'll pass. Now, we're going to need quite a bit of stuff to take out this Giratina with a Dangerous Rogue. We'll have to just hope he fills his bench up. But he might. He might even drop like a hoop. I hope we don't see a Lysander, though. I actually kind of... I mean, it would suck if he did Lysander me. These Yveltals are a little annoying. There's not much we can do about them. 
Like, Rampardos' damage to them is pretty weak. We're only doing, like, 40, 60 with a strong energy, and that's not even enough to two-shot them, so... The Veltals kind of suck. This is why we have stuff like Empoleon, which can deal decent damage to them, but we can't do Archies next turn. Well, then maybe we might. We'll see. But let's see what my opponent does. Is he going to Chaos Wheel me? Does he have that Double Dragon energy? Does he have a Lysander to shut down Rockruff? Does he have like a... Well, he's going to need a lot to shut down Rockruff. So I guess Rockruff is pretty safe for now. I'm surprised he's not playing Devoured Field. He's playing this. Looks like he's ending me again. I actually won't mind that. You can get a new hand and then, you know, this hand wasn't the greatest. I would really like to lie Kanarak this Giratina next turn. Though. That is the goal. Goal is to take out this Giratina next turn with Lycanroc. Hopefully we can pull it off. But if he gets, like, something crazy, we'll be in trouble. Wow, no. We'll see if he Chaos Duels me, praying that he doesn't. Because we just do two special energies. I kind of wish I put a special energy on before. But again, if he doesn't hit double dragon energy, we're okay. Please don't have it. That's our third puzzle. So I might even resource management to try and get back those puzzles. Because they are very important. But did he find it? He didn't. Just a dark energy attachment. I might even just go with Rampardos. No, no, we still, I don't know what to do, to be honest. I actually don't know what to do. If I could put Napoleon down, I'd definitely try and attack command him, but I don't know. Speaking of which, so order pad. We do get heads. Do I have that basic fighting energy in the deck? I do, okay. Hmm. Maybe I do just bring out Rampardos for now. I do feel safe that I will get what I need off of... Like, I feel like I will find that basic fine energy, because I do have my computer search still. I mean, if worse came to worse, I can maybe a Bloodthirsty Eyes and Felt Tall and block some time. No knockout, though, but what we can do is we can start hitting him hard. I think we'll do Cynthia for now. Choice Bam would be nice, so I can two-shot him. Yikes, that is not a Choice Bam. We can do Battle Compressor, though. Um, put these three back. We only have one Choice Bam, though, so we can never rip. I really hope we could hit it there. And we'll just clean hit him. I think we'll save that Battle Compressor for now. Not a whole lot of damage, only 80. We will sum up to be KO'd, though. We need to find that basic fire energy, but I feel comfortable we will find it. I mean, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I'm not wrong. He doesn't even one-shot me here, right? It does suck, though. We can't take him out. If we had the choice band, we could have. But I don't mind putting pressure on this Giratina and saying, well, you got to start attacking the Giratina eventually. The funny thing about, though, is I think what's really making this difficult, that extra HP is really killing me right now. But once he starts putting, like, a Darkrai down, Darkrai, you know, easy target. These Veltals are annoying, but I'm going to try and go for Empoleon soon. But I might even, like, once he starts to Blibby Wing me, I'm going to try and, like, go resource management. Just put back a bunch of stuff that I need back so I can start redoing my Maxi's Archies and don't have to worry about getting decked out. Just dealing with this Giratina is the difficult part. If we had Choice Band, this Giratina would be expunged next turn. Maybe I just, like, get so lucky he doesn't even get an energy. No, rip. I think I just hit him. Sycamore. Might have to end him. I don't know. Don't know. Giratina, why are you in the format? Cap, I'm kidding. No. It's Giratina, though, it's kind of annoying. There's a Darkrai, so he's putting Darkrai down, which is good. Unfortunately, clean hit doesn't one-shot him. Not yet, anyways. There's an Ultra Ball. Giratina. Definitely is scary. Kind of wish I had more basic fightings, but we only have the two, and at least they're not all prized. He's actually getting rid of a Zarasig. That's a little scary, because then Rampardos can't attack. 
but thankfully he already did Sycamore, so we don't have to worry about any Zorossix this turn. But if you want to grab a Darkrai EX, be my guest. You might even just grab another Giratina because he sees how good Giratina is. There's nothing I can do really to get out of it. I think I just have to try and find the base fire energy. Hmm. Um, or maybe I didn't play this right. Maybe I should have just waited, Dangerous Rogue him, done resource management, and then Dangerous Rogue Giratina. Play. I might battle press with a fight energy way because then puzzle of time double puzzle gives me another out to it so I might actually battle press with that fight energy so there's dark Rise. so there is two Pokemon we can safely knock out and there is the annoying chaos wheel which is going to change this completely so we'll battle compressor. I'm gonna put away Oracorio. Uh, we'll put away the fight energy. Probably also the other battle compressor. No, the other Ranger is pretty useless too. We will end him. I, yeah, I don't give him a new hand, but whatever. Okay, that is not a double puzzle, but we do have order pad and double mail, so that's good. Can't really do it right now though, so I think I'm gonna wait a turn to do it. So we'll clean hit him. For 80, nice solid amount of damage, Kappa. We will have the Dangerous Rogue him. This is kind of the issue with this play I did, but I was hoping I'd get Choice Band just so I could just two-shot this thing. But we might be able to just max these and pull off that fine energy play. And then set up a knock on our Dark Rider. Once we bring out Lycanroc, we Dangerous Rogue him. I don't mind wasting the Dangerous Rogue because our, our window can easily just be on these two guys. So it's, even if he does get another Giratina play, it's not a big deal. Like, Dangerous Rogue is good for Giratina, but at this point, it might be better just to go on. And plus, then Lycanroc is going to start attacking him, too. So, we do see a Max Elixir, but again, Focus Ash will save us. So, even if somehow he just miraculously builds a bunch of energy, doesn't matter. Didn't even hit that. I think he's actually trying to retreat here. I think that's what he was trying to do. He's going to try and retreat this Giratina, which would have been smart. But then we wouldn't have been Chaos Build. And then we wouldn't have to do the Dangerous Rogue knockout, which could be a bit more resourceful. He might even go Baby Yveltal. Actually, no, his math is off. No, he's going to end me. But again, I feel comfortable that we will find a way to pull off this double puzzle play. So if we get heads on order pad, we got him. So Chaos Wheel will knock me out. That's fine. Lycanroc can come in. And it's only one practice, so it's not a big deal. So be a Seeker... Nothing we can really grab there. So we'll Battle Compressor first. We'll get rid of... Oh, don't want to get rid of that. We'll get rid of Battle Compressor, Archie's Sycamore. Mm, maybe the Strong Energy too. Nah, no, we'll, we'll do this. That's fine. We'll do Order Pad. If we get Puzzle, that'd be great. No! Order Pad, why you do this to me? Via Seeker. Yes, there it is. Nice. We got it. That was a safe enough play. So we'll do double puzzle. From this hand, I'm gonna have to get fighting and ultra ball. And here we go. Maxi's in a ball trick. Or maybe I go for Empoleon, but nah, it's fine. Again, that's our win condition. And we'll probably just grab Rampardos. Or Garchomp, maybe. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what I grab. I think I will grab Garchomp. His damage output's a little bit better. Retreat. Bring out you. Dangerous Rogue. And I do not have my Guzma, right? I can't tell. So we'll take our two prizes. Choice Man's amazing. Okay, we do have our Guzma. So Guzma's still in the deck, which is good. We still have our last via Seeker. And next turn, maybe I can try and, like, Guzma and just Choice Ban this Turbo Assault. But I knew he'd bring out the Avel Call. We need to get Guzma here. Um, and then 
Maybe, I mean, if I didn't have this on too, maybe I could like just use his turn to resource management. Because again, he's not doing much damage to me. We had a dangerous rogue, the guaranteed is a little awkward, but again, I feel like we are safe to take the game at this point. Like, it's going to be kind of hard for him to win. But I really want to try and get a turbo assault off, but judging from how big our hand is, there's no way, unless Guzma's prized, which I don't think it is, I'm fairly confident that I actually might be prized. Shoot. I can't remember if it's prized or not. Uh-oh. I feel like it is prized. I feel like I did prize the Guzma. Hmm, I don't know. So, via Seeker, he's probably going to end me to four. He could do Zorosic to get rid of the Focus Sash, which, I mean, doesn't matter. He's probably going to end me to four, though. He could do Sycamore if he wants to try and dig more. It's either going to be N or Sycamore. I actually wouldn't mind Zorosic, so I could actually then go into Garchomp here. And save Lycanroc for a rainy day, but it doesn't matter. I feel like, I can't remember if Guzma's in the deck or not. We should be able to get it. But the send of four might disrupt us. I can't remember. I uh, I don't remember if I saw it off of that battle compressor. But I think it is in the deck though. I don't actually. It's not in the deck, is it? I can't remember for life. I guess we'll find out. Alcon. Star energy is good. Um, now he's resistant. Shoot, never mind. There's a dark patch. We do have to be careful though. Lycanroc could get knocked out. I might actually retreat Go Garch on this turn. And then just turbo assault the energy back on a Lycanroc. Maybe put the other strong energy on. That Giratina really disrupted us though, guys. And if Guzma is prized, this could also be very disruptive too to my strategy. Another Fighting Fury Belt on the active? Oh, uh, that's really annoying, because if I don't have Guzma, I gotta deal with that. At that point, I might as well just Claw Slash him. He's doing 50. And he's probably, he only has three cards, so it might be kind of hard for him to build enough energy next turn to knock me out. But cards like Double Drain Energy is definitely gonna help him. Or bad, so we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Guzma is prize. Shoot, dude, the Guzma is blocked. I can't be a seeker for anything that I really need. So I may as well just, I don't know, grab an energy. I didn't really know what to grab there. Sucks I wasted the Dangerous Rogue, but we will just Claw Slash. And we still have... We still have a knockout very easily with Garchomp, so it's not a big deal if we lose Lycanroc. We put the pressure on him anyways to force him to try and get a knockout this turn anyways on Lycanroc. Because Garchomp can still do work. Dark Patch. He's probably going to take a Lycanroc here, but again, Garchomp go with a Turbo Assault. Maybe I should have just... Maybe I should just Comp Surge for something else. I don't know, whatever. I did need the energy, so I don't get it, you know, bro. He does have a knockout, I think. That No, he's short. He's short. No, that's, I think that is a knockout, 140. I think he's doing 160 on the dog. Via Seeker, please do not end me. I only have two cards. End would make no sense, because he's giving me a new hand of four. So I'm praying he just does Sycamore. Yes, okay, so we do have a knockout then. If I can draw, like, my last Via Seeker, I can put Rampardos into play, and that would be amazing too. Three. That's all his Via Seekers. He's out of Via Seekers now. That's pretty good, I guess. He can't get back that Zorosic, which is good. If he ends up not, if he ends up like losing like a last standard Guzma, that he can't play, there you go. He's actually just going to do 50. Interesting. This is one of those turns where maybe I can afford to do resource management. But I don't know. I kind of feel like that's not a good idea. Because then this thing can be easily picked off by Lysander. And he probably has one in his hand. So I think it's safer just to claw slash knock this out. So what do we draw? There's Via Seeker. So we would have had the Maxis. That's funny. So I think I'm just going to knock him out here. And then save next turn for like a Maxis play. No, I was hoping for Guzma. Because he might actually knock me out with Darkrai here. If he gets a Field uh, feel Blower. A Finding Fairy Bell. And he probably has it in his hand. No, he's bringing it up. So annoying. I mean, I am taking out a lot of energy in play, I guess, but Garchomp is very weak. And our Focus Sash is unfortunately on him. There's no way we can get him back. 
Well, even if I do max these, I get decked out. So that's, no, that's not worth it. We could be in trouble. Could be in some trouble here, guys. Let's see what he's going to do, though. Is he going to knock me out with Night Spear? Or is he just going to Dark Pulse me? I'd rather him Dark Pulse me. Oh, he has the Funny Fear Belt. Oh, but he put, doesn't put it on the Dactive. Oh. Okay. Don't tell me you play four Funny Furry Belts. That would make absolutely zero sense. But I have a feeling he plays four Funny Fear Belts. Because why not? So why not? Everyone plays four Funny Fury Belts in their expanded Dark Ride decks now, right? So... It's obviously going to be in here because it is the most obvious choice. Every Dark Ride deck plays it. Night Enem. Which I think I will do. So he is going to take out Dark Ride, which I'm fine with because it doesn't look like we're going to lose next turn. And as long as our Guzma is not our last prize, that should wrap up the game from there. Don't know why he's not taking me out with that dark ride, but you know what? Be my guest, I am not complaining. Because he could have softened this up. And I actually probably would have been screwed at that point. There's really nothing I could have done. But thank you for being a bit of not really doing the smart play. And I am happy about that. I would like another attacker to build up at this point in the game, but it's fine. We end him. Put his hand down a little bit. That's our last via secret, but again, we do have resource management. Don't know if I want to build that up or build up a Lele, though. So, Turbo Assault, knock him out. And pray that our prize card is going to be... Yeah, we'll build a Lele, because he can still attack. Guzma, do not be in the prizes. Do not still be in the prizes. No! Of course the last prize is Guzma. It would be. Dude, are you serious? That is not good. Because he's going to bring out this baby of health hall now. Ah, just so frustrating on so many levels. Oh, that is so annoying. Yep. <laughs> Guzma, why do you do this to me? Oh, I might just do resource management and just try and put back as much as I can. I think I have to do that. And then pray Garchomp doesn't go down. Guzma trolled me so hard. No. Is there any way I can take this this Evolto that I don't think I can? We're not we're not we're only doing eight. That's just lovely. But we can do resource management and try and get some stuff back. But once the Lysander comes down, we're not we're not gonna be safe. But dude, I am so so cheesed right now by that luck. The Guzma, I, I just, if I drew if I got Guzma, I would have just straight up won the game. Unless he e hammers me. But even if he does that, we have this on. So Guzma, why would you do this to me? I am your best friend, Kizu. Oh my gosh. By the way, sorry if I'm making any noises. I have them. Like, my feet are kind of going everywhere on my desk right now. I gotta stop doing that. Oh man, this is so bad. Guzma, Guzma, Guzma. 90 HP. He just needs Lysander, and he definitely has. He has not played it yet. He's so low on cards. I think we'll try and do Maxis this turn. Definitely do that. And I'm just gonna grab nothing. Just gonna burn these males. Play the Maxis. Do I want Lycanroc or Rampardos? I think I just want Rampardos. We'll play the Tiratuga. Even though I am resource man, I'm still going to play Tiratuga. And we are going to resource management. I'm going to get back Focus Sash. Kinda wish I didn't play that choice bang because I might need it for Impardos, but it's fine. Resource management. Hopefully it's coming in clutch here. 
Very intense match, though. Okay, double dragon energy going down, so he might just do another Oblivion win, which I'm fine with. He could start doing Night Spear, but he can't do that because then, then I win the game. So I get another turn to just get some stuff back, which I like. And now that I have two fine types in play, you know, he has to pick wisely which one he wants to knock in. I'm probably going to pick like, three of my puzzles next turn. Maybe I should have done that last turn. Yeah, I should have. Why didn't I pick back all three puzzles? Whatever. He just passes. Oh, wow. He didn't even attack. All right, cool. So we'll do resource management. We'll put back all three puzzles. We'll just start building our deck back up. I don't know why he didn't attack me. That's fine by me. He doesn't, does he have any dark energy? He does. So, I mean, I don't know why he didn't attack my Ranguru, because then he could have knocked me out with Night Spear this turn. I don't mind, though. So there's Lysander taking out Shaman. Okay, I float my hand, so that's fine. Don't know why he did that, but he might. That's just, that might be his only Lysander, because he's, he's lost all his Via Seekers. He might play two. I mean, I wouldn't put against him that he doesn't play two. He probably does, but I don't know why he did that. Actually, really don't know why he did But we're just going to keep putting stuff back in our deck. I'll put Rockruff back. We'll put back Computer Search and our other puzzle. I, why? I don't know why I did that. Obviously, he knows I'm going to win the game if I knock something out, so yeah. Well, once he takes another prize, I'll have access to the rock rough again and at that point i'll be good we have all our puzzles back too there's a sycamore he's low on cards too he's only got three cards but he doesn't have resource magic. well what's he gonna do he loses if he attacks me with anything but well even hydrigan gets wrecked by garchomp right I kind of want to take a prize so I can get back Rockruff. Times like this, I wish I had Empoleon in play, but not Rampardo. So there's another. He does play the Quad Belt. Every deck I know plays that card, man. It's easily the best card in the format, apparently. I actually don't mind if he does do Shred here, because I can bite off. Which I think is short on the knockout, right? Yes, it is. It is Zoo in 210. But I'm glad he's doing this. Focus Ash is big. So I will go for... I could even hit with Lele if I really wanted to. He knocks me out of Dark Ray, and I don't know if I'm in that position. I mean, because I have the puzzles, like, I feel pretty safe. Maybe I do just go with Lele here and just... Yeah, I think this might actually be a safer play. Tier 2 is in hand, and that's, you know... The problem is, right, if I do attack him with it, he ends me to 1, and then what if I draw this? Well, he might not have an end left, but I think he's played 2. He's probably got an end. Probably safer to do that. Just attack him with Lele for now. He will knock me out of Darkrai, but Garchomp and Rampardos... They can come in. Well, Rampardos can't knock him out. Garchomp can. But once I get my bench spot back, I put Lycanroc back into play, which is the goal. So he's going to bring out Darkrai. Does he have that Lysander in hand? He's probably got two in the deck. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. So does he have his Lysander in hand? He doesn't. That is game. We beat a Darkrai deck. That was a pretty intense match. Um, not going to lie. That was a pretty intense game. But we were able to come out on top and win. And we just bring out Garchomp and go from there. And we can just maximize the damage with Bite Off. 460 damage. Guzma, you had to be prized because I could have won the game a lot quicker, but whatever. <laughs> That'll wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Hell on the Road to 3,000 subscribers. I want to see if we can hit 3K by the summer. 
that'll wrap up today's video. This deck is very fun to play. I would recommend it. I highly recommend trying out this deck for yourselves. Give it a whirl. Tell me how it goes. Um, and I honestly don't think I would change anything about it because I did test it quite a bit and I did like it quite a bit. I kind of wanted to try against the Zork deck, but Dark Eye I'll take as it does count as a Dark deck. But yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, leave a like if you want to see more Maxi's Archie's decks. Leave a like if you want to and comment if you want to see the Gyarados Galley deck um, be covered on my channel next. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.